Whereas we are watching all this fallout about, you know, the Roe versus Wade situation, you got old Maxine Waters and came out and she said that she's going to defy the Supreme Court of the United States. Now, she is a congresswoman that's been up there for forever. You know what I'm saying? Not doing nothing for the people in her district whatsoever. All the homeless situation going on out there in LA. Most of them are black people that's out there that's homeless. But let me roll this clip real quick so you could hear exactly what old Maxine had to say. You see this turnout here? You ain't seen nothing yet. Women are going to control their bodies no matter how they try and stop us. The hell with the Supreme Court. We will defy them. Women will be in control of their bodies. And if they think black women are intimidated or afraid, they got another thought coming. Black women will be out in droves. We will be out by the thousands. We will be out by the millions. We're going to make sure we fight for the right to control our own bodies. Thank you. Hello, everybody. So as you heard, Maxine Waters said that not only is she's going to defy the Supreme court, she said, black women that you're going to show up in the thousands and millions to come out there and talk about Roe v. Wade. Now it is amazing how she wants to defy the Supreme court for, for Becky and her problems, but she never wanted to defy the Supreme court for black people. Why didn't she defy the Supreme court for black people when they gutted the voting rights act back in 2015? Where was she then? Black people fought for the Voting Rights Act because, and the the big provision was, is that any maps that a state makes, they had to get federal approval of those maps because of the history of what they would do to black people with voting. Well, they stripped that part out. Where was Maxine? She was a congresswoman back then. Where was she? Black Americans fought for that so they could participate in the process. Now you have all these rigged elections now because of, of the maps. Let's call it what it is. She didn't, she didn't say nothing about doing nothing. Then she's like, Oh, well, nothing I can do about it. But when Becky cries about something as loose, she's going to lose or whatever. Now it's a problem. Now we got to fire the Supreme court. It is not black women's problem whatsoever. Black women ain't got nothing to do with that. And see, let me tell you something, black women or even black people, white folk have never done nothing in this country without you. This is why they're trying to crowbar you into it. Oh, it's affecting black women. They got to do it because they can't do nothing by themselves. They didn't build America by themselves. Let's go back before then. They didn't get themselves free of the British by themselves. It took black folks to do that. They didn't build America by themselves. It took black folks to do that. They had a civil war and black folks had to be involved with that. Every step of the way you think of every part in history in America, black folks were involved. These people have never, 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 never done anything by themselves. This is when you need to see how superior they are. If they say they're superior, then let them do this on their own. Let Becky handle her problems with her man on her own. Don't get involved with that because when you have problems, black woman, where's Becky? She comes nowhere when you, when you are brutalized by the police. She is not speaking up for you with uh, the, the wealth gap. She don't speak up for your children when they gun down in the street by her man, the race soldier. She don't talk about how you are more educated than she is. And yet she makes more money than you. You have master's degrees and doctor degrees and Becky can come in with a high school diploma and make more money than you. Matter of fact, she can come in the job and in the six months be your boss when you've been there 10, 12 years with a, with an education. Come on now. All the microaggressions that she do at the job against you. You can't have nothing by yourself. Even as a black woman, she wants to gentrify everything that you even do. And she still want you black women to come and fight for them. Now this is a time that black women got to say the way y'all treat us. When y'all say F y'all, we say F you too. Like F you, we're not going out there and doing nothing for you. That is a problem between you and your man. Deal with it. Keep us out of it. We got way more problems in our face that we're dealing with. You got black folks that being evicted every day. 
You got black folks that can't afford their lights. You got black folks can't afford their natural gas. You got black folks uh, that, that can't afford their cars because of this inflation and all this mess that's tied to this, this Democrat party. You're seeing the same Biden Democrat party shipping all kinds of money to Ukraine, giving money to the Afghanistan people, giving money to this one, giving money to that one. Everybody else with black folk. Why, why would, why would black women come out and defend a privileged group of women who, who has participated in the oppression and white supremacy of not only black women, but black people. Why would, why would black women do that? We'll be the incentive of saving Becky again. They don't respect you. No point in history when black people had came to save them. We have never been honored or reciprocated at all. You go back to the American revolutionary war, black folks got them, got the British off their back. what they do to black people? Put black people right back in slavery. On July 4th, 1776. That's why black folks don't just not be celebrating no independence day. That's white independence day. It has nothing to do with black people. My ancestors on the plantation. My ancestors found out they were free on June 19th, 1865 in Galveston, Texas. That's our independence day. If you want to talk about independence day, it is not the black woman's job to be saving miss Ann. Now, Maxine Waters and got there all she want, but black women, these women never respect you. They don't honor you. They make sure to keep you down all the freaking time. You will be a fool and a half to go out there and, 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 and do anything with a privileged group of women. That group of women right there is on the top of the food chain in white supremacy. And just because her man told her, no, this is the place you need to be. Don't you come in and defend her like that. Because you, let me tell you black folks something, you assist the white supremacists in keeping you in a permanent underclass. And if you go out there with, with Becky and all her shenanigans and go assist her to get her man off her back, that same woman is going to sit there and side with her man against you. That's what she's going to do. That's been the, the, the historical record. Black folk go fight in every war. Think about it. Civil war. Look how black people was treated after the fact. World war one. Look how black men was treated. Korean war. World war two. Vietnam. Look how black men were treated. Talking about world war war. They coming back from the war, getting lynched in their uniforms. It is a documented history that these people don't appreciate nothing black folks do for them. So it's time for black folks to say, Hey, you superior, you know, better you, 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 that's how you want to move. Handle it. Do you, and we're going to sit here and we're going to look at it on our mobile phones. We're going to look at it on our, our uh, TVs. We're going to be getting popping our popcorn in our mouth or whatever we choose to do. And just watch, just watch you uh, deal with your issue and problem. Maxine Waters don't speak for black people at all. She never come and speak up for black people. She never have that kind of fire in, in, in her mouth for, for black people and black issues. Where's that fire for reparations? They say nothing when something happened to black people, nothing until they get approval from, 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 uh, uh they massa on the Democrat party. Black folks got to let them know that them days of us running to save you is over. Them days are over. Now I know black men ain't going out there and doing nothing. So I'm not even addressing black men because we don't care about that, but black women. And I know a lot of you like hell with her, them. I'm not doing anything, but make sure in your friends and family say, Hey, don't go out there and join them. Why, why should you be going out there? You know, I'm just seeing someone get roughed up by the police too. Why should you go out there and get roughed up by the police for what? They ain't got nothing to do with black people. Them same women to sit there. Watch you. Cause this is the way it works. Racism, white supremacy. The moment you step on the scene, the police are targeting you. They're not going to target them. That that's they that's they standard operating procedure. See somebody black attack, but see when black people ain't out there, then they attack their own. Now I've been seeing some of them videos of the police just whipping up on them. I say, well, you know, that, that that's what happens when you have to step out there. You feel that. You want that particular privilege to do that. So, so you can go out there and keep having your hot girl summer. So you can keep getting rid of, you know, when you're out there slumming it with Tyrone somewhere and don't want to bring that, that black baby into that white family. You, you can go out there and get your, uh, your deletion and all that. See them, them days are over. Them days are done. Now I know right now what's happening. All these, uh, people are running the courts 
and trying to block the trigger laws that's going on, but that's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to stand because the Supreme Court already ruled on it. You know what I'm saying? So that, that that's just going to just maybe prolong something, but that's not going to end anything whatsoever. And the same thing in November. We're not, we're not doing anything for y'all. Oh, black people, you got to come out and vote because those Republicans, ooh, they're going to take all your rights away. We, ain't, we don't have no rights. What rights we got as black people that the white man got to respect? We ain't got no rights. The, word, the best thing we can do is let y'all consume each other. There you go. That's the best thing we can do. We need to stay out of it. Just, just like, just like when, 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 when the Bible, when the, when the plays came, the Lord told them, put, you know, put that, stay in your house, you know, put that blood over your door and the death angel passed by. I'm not saying we're going that far, but what I'm, I'm meaning is stay, stay home. Let them deal with their problems. Stay home in, with your family, with your friends. And let them do whatever they want to do. This has nothing to do with us. It is time for black people to stop saving them people. They superior. They think they say they better or whatever. Let them be superior. We, we inferior, right? So the inferior people need to sit at, sit home and just watch them. That's it. And on time, we're going to do something that's going to benefit black people. We need to act like every other group in this country. That all we're going to do is benefit who we are. Every other group come in here and look out for themselves. Black folks on this crusade to save Miss Ann and say, well, you know, you got to save democracy. We don't live in a democracy. We live in oppression. We live in white supremacy. We don't live in democracy. What the hell are you talking about? We got, we black people help us save democracy. No, I'm not helping you save anything because your form of democracy is my oppression. Your form of democracy is discrimination. Your form of, of, of democracy is white supremacy that harms black people. I don't want to save that. Well, what I want to save that for. I'm not benefiting in that. I'm not being treated like a human being. What is it that white lady said the other day? I, the other day, I was a first class citizen. Now I'm a second class citizen. So, so you admit that you was a first class citizen. You admit it. And black people aren't. So why would I say a, a so-called democracy that keep you a first class citizen and keep me a fifth class citizen? Why would I save that? Think about that. I'm not saving that crap. That doesn't benefit me. I'm only going to save something that benefits me. Period. Let the Republicans do whatever the hell they want to do. I don't care. I don't care. Take every right they want to take. I don't care. Take it. Do whatever you want to do. Because the white man need to rein y'all in anyway. Y'all, 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 they didn't gave you some wings and you, and you go too far. So, so yeah, let, let him do whatever he got to do to you. I don't, that's not our problem. Black people worry about our problem. Our kids. Our families. That's who we worry about. That's the only thing we need to worry about. Period. Maxine Waters out there. See, but this is your Congressional Black Caucus, folks. Worrying about everybody else. Same thing. She's fighting about immigration. Had nothing to do with black America, but you fighting about immigration. That's why I say the Congressional Black Caucus, all of them need to go. The majority of them are geriatrics. That's the problem, too. That's the problem. We need young leadership at this point. And even white people saying the same thing in their community. They say, well, we got all these geriatrics running the country. That's why the country don't change. All of them sold out to corporations, all that. You need young people coming in. But yeah, but black women, like I said, I'm paying attention. I'm a watch. Now I got, I know y'all, the women that watch and listen to us are smart women. They, they smart, they, they sharp, sharp women. But for the rest of them, I, we're paying attention. And yes, we're going to call y'all out. We catch you out there with them. We calling you out because no, them women don't come to your rescue at all. No matter what go on. But, but thank you ladies and gentlemen for joining us on the podcast. We greatly appreciate it. Make sure you um, subscribe that way you, you know when we post another podcast, click the like button. It's very important. If you enjoy the show, uh, join our YouTube channel memberships, or you can hit us up on cash app. But thank you once again for being here. We see you in the next one.